fucking hell! That started so loud! It was black silence, and then suddenly, it flashed up and a guy went, Welcome to Furfun! And it... Holy crap, I had a whole thing planned out. And now I've got... Now I'm trying not to... Oh. Sorry, i got to calm down. I had a whole thing where I was going to go, all I want to do is play for fun. I have a feeling I am the only one. But that's messed up. I haven't even called you all a, a name like I do in the intro. You know, where I go, hello, you, and then I make up some insult. I got nothing. Hello, you carrot that an old lonely man has shoved up his ass. Jim Sterling here, and this is for fun. All I want to do is play for fun. I have a feeling I'm not the only one. Now, before we crack on with the game, and I'm sure you're all very eager to see what this early access platformer has to offer, I do have some background for this particular game. And thank fuck I'm finally doing it. Maybe you will all stop your emails now. I got a lot of emails about this game called Fur Fun, which, if I'm quite honest, a lot of people sent emails that weren't very explanatory. So all I knew for a while was that Fur Fun existed and some people were upset about that. Uh, but I did get an email from someone... Um, I, well, I don't want to give their name out. I know they, they've only left a real name and people get touchy about that and... and Understandably so, so we will just call them uh, Illinois Passion. So Illinois Passion gave me uh, a more detailed breakdown. So before we begin, I'm going to read this out as quickly as I can. This game was originally uh, a, a failed Kickstarter. It was on Kickstarter, didn't make its money. It was criticised for copying Ukulele's Kickstarter submission. Apparently it just copied their whole style and thing. So, I'm sure you could tell from the music that ukulele, Banjo-Kazooie, big influences. Very big influences, as we'll find out as far as the music goes. So, uh, the game didn't get funded, uh, but the Spanish... What's this? The Spanish YouTuber, uh, who is infamous... This is the words of Illinois Passion, not me. A Spanish YouTuber, famous for pulling all sorts of shady stuff to climb his way to the top, decided he wanted to show off and bought the project. Now, the game was called QP Jazzy when it first tried to get funded on Kickstarter. QP Jazzy. Again, you can see where they got the Banjo-Kazooie ukulele references from. He changed the name to Fur Fun. Uh, apparently ham-fisted himself as the game's narrator, so that's the guy who almost gave me a fucking heart attack at the beginning, and claimed to the public to have finished uh, the game. Well, to have developed the game, as in actually coding it. So, the game's a total mess, apparently. Uh, we will be getting to that. Uh, it also uses Banjo-Kazooie music. Uh, it uses assets from Banjo-Kazooie that in the files have not been renamed. That's how it was properly confirmed. Uh, the de the developer claimed that uh, they were just file names, didn't mean anything, but further evidence showed that they were the same bits of music. The developer also said that Grant Kirkhope, that is rare composer now with, um, you know, play is it Platonic? Platonic Labs. Uh, you know, ukulele's developers, d does the music for ukulele. Uh, they, he said that Grant Kirkhope was involved with this game's score. Kirkhope denied taking part in this game, and the dev called Grant Kirkhope a liar. A liar. Wow. Also, the game is listed as Peggy 3 for three-year-olds, but it's got swearing and innuendo, sexual innuendo, coming from the narrator, uh, blah, 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 blah. He's been apparently abusing YouTube's DMCA system, uh, system to take DMCA system to take stuff down. Sorry, I'm getting. I'm trying to ramble through. There's a lot to get through before we even play the game. Um, deletes negative posts on Steam. That's a given these days. Uh, managed to threaten a gaming site into deleting an article about the situation. Oh, I don't know what went on there. Uh, he's a big YouTuber with a fan base, so... Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this video. Alright, well, let, let's get on with fur fun. Those are the allegations, and for legal purposes, they are allegations. Uh, I don't need to get in trouble again. Open lobby. Alright, so it's a... Uh, one of them. Like, online, I guess. Welcome to the oh. tutorial stage. Oh, Don't the tutorial. This should be quick. Press W, A, Z, same stuff as always, 
to move around and the mouse to look around or use left and yeah. right sticks if you're using a controller. Okay. Collect all the coins to unlock new me games and to complete all the world tasks. So Press the space bar okay. and the A button to jump. I'm way ahead of you there, mate. Jump higher if you hold the button. Press shift on a keyboard or X in a controller to run. So basic controls. Press the jump button again after your first jump to glide with Jazzy. Uh, you could have done this with text. Use to play as QP the cat to be able to perform this movement. Press caps lock on a keyboard or select on a controller to open the character select menu and click caps on lock. the meerkat. Jembe is so light that he can jump even higher than QP. All right, so now we're this little fucker. We're we're, we're Timon. Can reach raised areas. <laughs> oh god, he jumps like a fucker, did not he? Look at that. Size matters, you know. <laughs> oh, there was our first bit of sexual innuendo. Jembe can enter holes or small cavities. <laughs> Size matters. Areas for everyone. Small cavities. Oh, small cavities. You defeat a monster or boss, you will earn Peggy XP. three. Okay, what did he say you about gliding? XP. Your character will Stop talking! Will acquire new properties. Also earn XP collecting the XP sacks hidden in the world. Whoa, that is a big ball of fur. Can we have fun with it? Main currency in the game. We need to find these precious items to unlock new worlds. I'll just jump over it. Just double jump. Prove that you are a real I thought you said gliding. Or try but, I don't know. So... Whoa, this guy does not shut up, does he? I I get a feeling he bought the project just to just to be a narrator in it. It's like I've heard of like rich people who like fancy themselves as stand-up comics or whatever, buying themselves gigs. You know, they'll host a comedy night. Um, the old Ray Peacock podcast talked about it back when Ian Boldsworth went under Ray Peacock as a name. Uh, he talked about doing a gig once in a barn at someone like it was it was done up nicely inside but it was originally it was a converted barn um the presumably the owner of said barn made uh, sort of done up and then held a comedy night just so he could do a bit of stand up okay now what's the middle middle mouse button yep no okay it was the right thing i see the arrow pointing to the right button now but because the middle mouse button was highlighted in green yep. I, uh, I just, I focused on that. I apologize for that. Yeah. Right, right makes sense yeah. as an attack. It does. Caps lock to select, yeah. So presumably, I see the little hole. There. I keep pressing tab because that's the normal thing you'd press for, a, like, some sort of, I mean, normally you wouldn't press any of these side buttons to change a character. As far as I can tell... The mouse scroll is doing nothing. The, clicking the middle mouse button does nothing. Could have done that. Make it much easier. Okay, I thought that was a like a little hole at the side. Or, you know, a small cavity. Ha ha, Peggy 3. Um, Alright. So why have we changed just this character? I assumed there would be a hole because this is where the sign was for character changing. I mean, I feel like I could have jumped up there as the cat, since the cat's got a double jump, but... Oh, I guess it was for this bit. Maybe they should have just had the one sign there instead of the other sign at the back. They've got signs! They didn't need the narrator running his mouth. I don't think, anyway. So is that it? So I now have to manually, with the mouse, the mouse cursor that's still controlling the camera for all these menus, Go to lobby and save. So there's no just moving on to the next level or anything. It's just... Mm -hmm. Just uh, waiting for it to load here. Alright. Well, I guess that's because we did the tutorial. We've got the main game now, hopefully. What we got going on here. So, 20 gold bars to go to the deep sea. We need zero, though, for Dazzle Valley. In we fucking go. Again, using the mouse that's also the camera control. That's fine.
That's fine double clicking on things instead of, you know, just pressing E or F or any of the convenient buttons that are here, really. Okay. Got a lot of keys on this keyboard. A lot of them. This beautiful world, you will have to find more than 20 golden ingots. Mm, 20 stretches. You know, now. because someday some kind of pirate died here or uh, I don't know. Don't forget to use the vehicles to move around this vast valley. You can also find the football minigame. Where you can have some kind of uh, retarded uh, football, weird, with uh, things in the field, I, I don't know. Ready to explore and collect them all? I don't think so. Let's go! Are you done? Good. Okay, let's go. I'm, I'm just, I'm not passing comment on any of that. You can, you enjoy your own fucking opinions on that. I feel like anything I could say would just take away from letting that stand as its own damning testament. Anyway, let's. Here's a blue carrot now. This is why I said carrot up a lonely old man's arse. Oh shit, that's alive. Oh god. Mud crabs. Okay, well, we are managing to. When, when the actual gameplay goes, maintain a stable frame rate of 30 per second. The intro dipped well below that, the the level intro, with that great narration that we all remember. Yep. Okay. Yep. So the game itself is, I mean, it's not terrible. Yep. It's not good either. You know, I've played far worse than this, especially on early access. But you can tell that, you know, the original developer, whoever that was, were just making a a copy of ukulele slash banjo kazooie. Not a very good one, obviously. But you know, not not an awful one. I can see why it didn't get funded. I can see people looking at this and just saying, no, not for me. What the hell? Okay. All right, we, we accomplished something because the cat did a chicken dance. I like how unlike in, you know, Banjo-Kazooie, Ukulele, there's no way in which the characters are working together. It's just, uh, yeah. you've got to press the caps lock and double click on a menu using the mouse cursor that controls your camera to go from the cat to fucking Timon. Who, I keep pressing tab by fucking muscle memory. Also, when I press caps lock, it just, it doesn't always seem to come up. At least it didn't the first time I tried clicking it just then. Anyway. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's all right. Thank God for that. Thank God for characters that stick to the sides of things, even though I complain about that a lot in other games. That kind of helped me out there. So anyway, collecting a lot of coins. We haven't got any more of these. What did he call it? He called them golden fingers? I and mean, they're just gold bars. I don't know if, again, they're trying to be sexual with that. Okay. All right, another one. So that's what the chicken dance is for. You get one of the... I didn't notice picking one up the first time. The first time I saw QP's chicken dance. Aren't we having a lot of fur fun, though? That's the main thing, is the amount of fun we're having with fur. It's fur fun. Oh, shit. Whoa. She ragdolls pretty hardcore when she takes damage. I've also noticed uh, she doesn't actually have to hit it. I'm assuming she's a she. Uh, you don't have to actually hit anything. So long as the enemies touch the bit of purple that surrounds the cat then then they will die which is fair enough i'm happy with that again it uh it's not brilliant game design but it serves my purposes i'm gonna keep hitting tab i'm gonna keep hitting tab let's be to jambi so we can get under here whoa what the hell was that all about i think something shot yeah a cannon shot at us We, we, we throw cannons. Maybe the cannon... Maybe I just got hit in my own... There is a cannon. But I was... I did press the right... 
mouse button under here, so I don't know whether the cannon got me or I got hit with my own cannon. I also realise it doesn't fucking matter. Let's just throw one at this crab. Oh, okay, he didn't. Now he's just dropping them. He got them. I hate the, I hate the meerkat. I fucking hate the meerkat. I'm just going to be regular cat. So we're regular type cat again. Well, there's a treasure chest with nothing. I don't know if water hurts you. Although it's, it's shat. Oh, fuck. Well, we, we know now. The cannons do. Jesus Christ. The ragdoll's just off the fucking chart, though. So we can't actually do anything about the cannon. So we're going to have to... Yep. I'm not seeing any health either. Is there health? Oh yeah, it's down there. Is it? Are those lives down in the lower left? I didn't even notice there's an entire little thing in the lower left. We've got an XP meter. We've got... Well, I'm assuming, I guess, a lives. I'm going to look next time I keep inevitably get hit by one of these fucking cannons. And see if it goes from one to zero or if I just die. Oh, that's a big crab. Do you think it goes down with the same amount of hits? Yep. Something tells me health levels were not really a concern for this game. Oh, well, we got hit again and no change. We got hit twice and no change. I don't think there's any, like, invincibility um, thing. I forgot the actual term. <laughs> you know, when you get hit and then you get that moment of invulnerability. I don't think we get that, so if I get hit twice in a row, then I will just ragdoll twice in a row. But that seems so far to be the only pun- It's only the only visual punishment I'm getting right now. Is... I'll just get flung about. But we've got more XP. And I don't even know whether the XP bar went up at that. I'm assuming it's an XP bar. Maybe it is health? I didn't look at that. I'm gonna let a carrot hit me and see if that green bar goes down some. Nope. Okay, so that's... We fully, fully explored... Oh, shit. We fully explored that concept. Well, how many gold bars did we need to get in that other level? It's more than uh, I was willing to play to get, unless we stumble across all of them in one go. Oh yeah, we were told, weren't we, by that hilarious narrator to try the vehicles, and it did show this ship. Yep. Let's see if that is meritous in any way. Alright, we're on the ship. I mean, there's a cannon on there, so I don't think we're going to get to float this about. Well, there's the... the ste I know it's not called a steering wheel, but there's the steering wheel. Can we get to it? Uh, can't do anything with it. Yeah. Alright, what what fucking vehicle was he talking about then? He did say vehicle, right? I didn't just imagine that. Sometimes I imagine things. Should we try and get that gold treasure chest up there? I kind of abandoned it when I got hit with the... Did I get hit with a cannon or did I just get bored and give up? I don't know, but I got hit by one there. And again. And now we're down. Brilliant. That's all right. That's I wanted that to happen. That's a good idea. Oh, and there we go. Back down again. I don't think this is going to be possible. And now I've worked out what the punishment is for getting here. It's grievous, harmful levels of frustration. See, I'm trying to save time by jumping on this one up here. And oh no, I'm. I'm going to abandon that whole track, I think. I think we can live without that. I know I certainly can. Okay. So I'm going to look into this game some more uh, to see whether it's worth a Jimquisition, whether it's worth a whole Steam story. I'm going to abandon that idea as well. I guess we could try and get hit and ragdoll our way up there, but... Or, or maybe that's a job for Tajembe? Yeah. Let's see. Because he can't double jump, but he can, he can jump higher, so he is just better. Not really at hitting things, because those 
cannonballs are shite, but he is the better jumper, even if he can't double jump. Which, I don't know, it makes little sense to me, but, you know, I'm not the one who woke up one morning and decided to have fur fun. No, I woke up this morning and the first thing I did was watch fucking Wing Commander for the spin-off Doctors podcast. And then I went straight from Wing Commander to this. <laughs> so that's good. It's great running animation. I don't think the knees are bending there. I think just like some sort of weird Silent Hill monster, he's like staggering on these jointless legs. Okay, it's definitely what we like to see is little, little tiny steps that require full jumps to get over. I love it when that happens in platform games. There, I had to jump to get over that, and again for that. For fun! All right, I'm not going to try that a second time. I'm not going to try any of it a second time. I think once once a certain thread's proven itself to be... Uh, this game should fuck off. I don't even have good criticism for it. All right, well, we got another thing from a cage. I don't suppose we need to know what that was. I mean, that's it. For someone who likes to talk, the narrator really didn't give any clue as to what's going on or why. I need to get a run-up. I will do that a second time because I'm not, I'm not doing run-ups. Okay, there we go. That's more than enough. At least, the, at least he picked that up. If he'd have gone straight over, then no, I wouldn't have done that again. But yeah, it's, I, I, I did do a standing jump on that other one, so, you know, take that on on me. That's on me. Hey, look, a banjo. Nah, that's a ukulele. Actually, I am interested in what that is. Oh. They're just saluting. Let's just have a look here behind the teeth. All up in his gums. Oh, that's nightmarish. Just do that for a bit so I've got some good B-roll if I ever need it. Even if I don't do a Jimquisition about this, having random weird B-roll is always good. There we go. I think that's enough. No, get out of my way. Stop following me around. I'm going to be the cat again. Oh no, she is taking damage. Yep. Uh, okay, what? Okay, so for some reason my video stopped recording partway through, so I've had to start a new recording, which is annoying, especially because I was making carrots have sex, and now I've got to do that again because it, it, it was amusing a bit. Not this one. Um, so after I took damage from the carrots that Timon didn't, I hit them, and they fell in a funny way. One was upside down. Um, I think that's what happened, because I was just so exasperated, I flung my glasses off, and I hit my keyboards, and I must have hit the record button. Uh, but I was making these guys just sort of fuck each other. It, it was sort of funny. They were sort of scissoring, and I don't think I'm going to get it back now. I mean, that's sort of, I just, I don't like how they still move after death with their horrible dainty humanoid hands and their, their malformed feet, their trotter feet. I mean, I realize what I'm doing here is infantile, puerile, pointless and dull. But it's this, or play the rest of the game, which is itself infantile, puerile, pointless, and dull. So, you know, I just feel like like it's, it's like rolling dice. Like, if I just tumble them about, they will eventually do something funny, and then this video will be entertaining. 
No. No, they're just going to keep freaking me out, I think. They're going to keep upsetting me. Okay. If you've just joined us, we're stood on a rotating chair that's hovering up off the ground in a log cabin full of poison. Quite why any of that's happening, I have no idea, but we're getting a first-person view for some reason, and it's great. So, yeah, okay, we're out of that now. Presumably, we got to jump on that chair. This is a, a platforming puzzle. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, this is how we're playing it. This is how we're playing it. There we go. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping we'd uh, play it with our head stuck in the ground for the rest of it. Okay, so... We've done a full loop just round, haven't we? We've just come full circle. Oh, fuck yeah. off. We've just come full circle. So, I guess that's it. We just we run around continuing to collect things. So there's another cage over there. That's what those little furry faces are, if you haven't noticed already, in the lower left corner. Boom, now we've got three. If we collect ten, then we can stand on a special button by that log cabin. I can't remember if that was included in the bit I recorded or not, or if it was in the lost bit of footage. But just... I'm not going to go all the way over there. You see yonder in the distance, just in front of that fake treasure chest prop? There, I need five. Five little fur fuckers, and then we can do something. Maybe get out of this fucking level? What does experience do in this game? We don't have health. Everything's dead in one hit. What exactly do we improve when we get XP? Did he say it during the tutorial narration? I blocked a lot of that out. Hooray! Okay. Somewhat curious if there's anything up here. Okay. Yep. We got XP. And yeah, that level meter is going up when I collect XP. It's just at such a small rate. It's almost inconceivable. She sounds so desperate when she jumps. Like, it is the worst thing that's happening in her life right now. And the constant heavy breathing from the sprinting. Peggy, three. Okay. If we take one hit here, we will fly off and everything will suck forever. All right. There we go. Chicken dance for everyone. Fuck everything. I think we've really... I feel like I've explored about as much as I want to from this whole sorry affair in terms of the actual game itself. This is fur fun. I mean, there was fur, so the game's title is half right. There's a whole bunch of coins and stuff over here that I didn't really explore. Oh, hit with a cannonball again. That's fun. Oh, incidentally, if uh, you're a fan of my voice acting, and I don't know why you would be, especially since a fan of mine did say, went out of their way to twice in, in different places. Oh, we picked something up through a wall. Good. My voice acting is apparently so bad that uh, a fan was compelled to say it not once, but twice in different locations. How shit I am at VA, which is fair enough. It might be true. I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not a good judge of my own work. It might be true, uh, but there is a game out called Herald. It's on Steam right now. I may take a look at it myself. It's just with so much going on and so many requests to cover certain things. I don't know when I'll get to it, and I do know. Obviously, now is the time to really look at it since the game's come out. I think it went out yesterday at the time of publication. 
but I am in it. I play a character called Robert Stockson. Not a main, main role, but, you know, fair, fair few scenes. I really liked it. I, I, I mean, I was pleased with the work I did, in all honesty, if we take all the self-deprecating humour out. Um, but when the trailer did go up, you know, that one person. And, of course, you always focus on the one person. Because that's what you do. Because the human brain is an idiot. Really brilliant, but an idiot. Okay, well, he's just shy of being able to get up there. And she can't get up there. But there is stuff up there. Um, like maybe if we try a different tack here and... Yeah, if we climb up here. So anyway, um, I was pleased with it. I was mostly pleased because it's the only role so far that I've actually properly auditioned for. Because I don't normally do auditions because of the nature of my job as a critic, so I don't want to have that conflict of interest, but it was a genre I don't normally cover, you know. Oh, through the thing again. Didn't feel like there'd be much of a conflict, and I just think it was an interesting project as well. Just what they were trying to do with uh, sort of the period history and the themes they were tackling with it. So I auditioned for that one. It's the only one I did. Pro you know, probably the only one I ever will. You never know, though. And it was on the strength of auditioning that I got it. It wasn't because they knew who I was already. At least as far as I know, they didn't know who I was already. So I was a little bit extra proud of that one. They seemed to genuinely like what I was doing. So is, she, is he just invincible? No, because I did... The cannonballs hurt the, the meerkat. That was just a mess. Okay, we're at 20 frames now, just for those yeah. interested. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of this stuff yeah. just looks like they've got assets, whether they made them themselves yeah. or bought them. I'm assuming a lot of this is self-made. Maybe. The cat certainly looks stylistically familiar, if not literally. I feel like I've played a game before with a cat like this. But they may have made everything themselves. You know, be it the original developer or the Spanish YouTuber. Who is, I'm sorry I just keep saying Spanish YouTuber, that's literally all I know about him. Oh, for fuck's sake, I hate this. I hate this. But anyway, I, re I liked the work I did on Harold, is what I'm saying. Yeah. And you know, I take the criticism in good humour, you know, I've seen a lot of people... I've seen some praise for it, I've also seen some slagging off of the work I did in the Charnel House trilogy. Some people just said, I, you know... I think one of, one of the criticisms was like, I don't understand how he keeps getting voice acting roles. Um, yeah. or, or, no, I think it was even more c worse than that, I think it was just, no, he shouldn't get them. <laughs> Which again, fair enough criticism. Um, so that's that, that was the thing I picked up. But just again to reiterate, I liked what I did in Herald. Um, maybe it sucked, but check it out. If you like adventure games, then that might be for you. I realised that was a lot of talking about a totally different game and project, but what was the alternative? Talk about this? I mean, look at that rock going up and down. Pushing itself through the, the green vining underneath. Yeah. Holy shit, yeah. that's a different type of enemy. Yeah, a yellow one now. So that was a, th a thing. Those little tiny ones. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, talk about enemy variety. And people give Dynasty Warriors shit. Yeah. For not, you know, varying up their enemies enough. Yeah. And we get a game like this, with presumably not a great deal of budget, really going to really pushing the boat out when it comes to... Oh, fuck off! Fuck off! Trying to be sarcastic over here. Oh, it's a cage. I didn't even notice that. One more and we can push the button. How about that? Should we make that a goal before I turn it off? 
and we'll see if I actually do it before I turn it off. No, don't fall again. Fucker egg. Right. I was kind of hoping there'd be a cage up here so that we that could have been an easy thing. Okay. God, there's a high up thing there. I mean, you know, oh, oh there's a vehicle. Oh, this is going to be great. Can we, uh... Alright. How do I get... Let's go back and look at the sign. At least the narrator didn't talk about any of this. Y to enter or exit. E to enter or exit. Okay, they're doing the different... Whether you got a controller or not. Press jump button to fly up. How do I get down? All lingots collected with a vehicle will not count. Park your vehicle before you collect. That's what I wanted to, to know, whether I could just fly and get this. But apparently you can't. Also, apparently we can fly up, but we can't fly down. So what happens if I just fly as high as I go, which is this. This is as high as we get to go. And press E. Would I just fall? I guess. We can use this, though, to see if there are any good cage vantage points. There's nothing here, though. So I was going to praise the level design a little bit, because this isn't something like, um, you know, your, your average early access asset flip garbage. I saw this and I was like, well, there's actual height to this game, but there's nothing up there. So this is just window dressing. But, you know, I mean, I will at least say there is some... Stop making that horrible jingle noise. I will say that there is a certain level of design going on here. It's not good design. I mean, look at this. This is like amateur little big planet level. I've put some platforms together, kind of builder block design. But it is way better than your average asset flip. And again, that doesn't mean to say this game is good. Playing it is very boring. And I kind of hate it. But at least they tried to make a level. Okay, if you... Don't press space, it will just drop, I guess. Which is weird, because I was trying to make it drop without pressing space earlier, and it was just staying at the same level. I guess maybe you got to press space once for it to start behaving like a helicopter. All right, press D. And there we go. The helicopter is gone. Nope, there it is. It crashed down. Presumably, though, they haven't, like, come up with damage mechanics or anything. I, I sh can, No, I, no, no, I just want to get in, in the helicopter. No, I didn't want to do that. I don't know why that happened. I didn't ask for that to happen at all. Okay, let's uh, press E near it. There we go. Haha, <laughs> fuck off. Your cannonballs are useless. This has kind of rendered the, the rest of the game moot, because now it is just press... Well... In an ideal situation, it's press E and, and just drop on what you want without worrying about all the platforming bullshit. Didn't quite happen there. But maybe it'll happen here. Because I see, I understand why they said that things collected with the helicopter won't count towards your total. But they didn't account for the fact that you can just get out the fucking helicopter. <laughs> <sighs> where did the, where did it go? Did it? I'm waiting for the bit where I jump out and it stays up a platform. So I have to. Actually, I'm not wait. I'm done. I can't stand this anymore. That's fur fun. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna keep going back and looking over my digital homicide lawsuit now. I use it to keep my drink on. That's it. Video's done. I'm I'm doing admin now. Later. Count six libel per quad. Defendant states the article that the plaintiff is being as sly as the wet bandits comparing the plaintiff to an incompetent thief. Reference to the movie Home Alone. <laughs> Shit's gold. Monday's gonna be interesting.